Shalom, shalom, my little friends. Okay, so the last one, I showed you some sigils and whatnot. And um, I'm going to show them to you again, these sigils, because some might not watch the last one. These are demonic sigils. Richie from Boston got me to doing this. Woo, I didn't want to go that far yet. I'm gonna trying to show you what I was going to show you in the first place before I can get to it. Or, ah, anyway, so here's demonic sigils. Got sigils everywhere. Pray against these sigils um, in the name of Jesus that he will just uh, bless you to not be hurt by all. This is light language. Now, they're the same thing to me. Same stuff. It's all the same junk. You know, light language, right? Okay. And I showed that they are doing this in the sky. They're drawing these things in the sky. Bam. Bam. That was just a few days ago. So, Richie from Boston has informed us. Whoever doesn't listen to Richie from Boston, just do your own research. Check him out. You know, he's been truly blessed. And with this one right here, this great understanding, so many people do not see this. And this is absolutely amazing to me that they're doing this right in front of our faces and we don't even realize it. But you've got these sigils, okay? Richie from Boston has showed that car parts... I'm going to move this over here so I ain't looking all funky fine. Okay, vehicle parts are shaped like these sigils. Alright? This light language, these sigils. Aye. Alright? These here. Now look, y'all. <laughs> Let me show Let me show you what Jesus, Yahushua, the Holy Spirit went in bread. Showed me. I was throwing stuff away the other day. And out of nowhere, I just turned these little Hot Wheel vehicles around. And sure enough, I started noticing that these little Hot Wheel vehicles have got these sigils on the back of them. Straight up. That is exactly what that is. No matter how way possible you turn that thing, that is exactly what these are. Sigils. Look at that. There's your triangles in, in squares with your lines trying that is exactly what this is this is in our this is what our children are playing with okay and that's what that is that's what these are look at that that is what that is you know that that is demonic sigils on the back of hot wheel cars our father says that that the whole world's gonna be deceived Y'all, we've been straight up deceived. Even I myself allow my children to have Hot Wheels and, and play with them. And, and I look at this stuff and it disgusts me. It hurts my heart. It pulls me down because we are allowing these things in our homes. These, these symbols that vibrate this energy into our homes. And that's exactly what that is on the back of those hot wheel vehicles that is what that is demonic sigils this light language and look from sir nunos this is sir nunos and the i and they in the indian um hindu false god pashupi to whatever his name is its name is and it is a incarnation of shiva with its three heads but look here's the same symbols your little triangles with your your uh you know lines and here here again look your little waves and i mean seriously y'all let us wake up stop going to walmart and buying this stuff that they put in front of our face stop letting our children oh mommy i want this oh daddy i want that every time they go into a store stop taking them in the store if you got to I mean, seriously, or show them, show your children what this is. I guarantee you, you will be amazed, amazed at how intelligent children are, that our Father has blessed them with so much understanding. And you will be amazed at how easy it will be for them to turn away from this stuff when they realize the spiritual aspect of it don't be scared to teach your children about the spiritual if children can watch scary movies and people being slashed and murders and whatnot then you could talk to your children about the real 
spiritual way of things. How demons are real. Because this is happening right in front of our face, y'all. This is really going on. I mean, look. It's exactly what they, these are. It's exactly what they are. I'm so grateful that um, I've been blessed with y'all. Truly, through this whole thing. Through through the whole learning process. And, and the, the listening um, to one another. Hearing what Yahushua has blessed us with. Before I end this, um, I want to ask for prayer. My fa my dad is, we actually are under a spiritual war, which, you know, a war is a spiritual war, but we're under um, a huge battle. Um, the enemy does not want my dad's company to, to run, to last. And I know that's because it, that we're the one of the true believers still out there that, that have a company running in this world. And don't do things exactly the way the government wants us to. You know what I mean, Vern? The thing is, is um, we're being attacked left and right. Work is, is uh, hard to find. People are wanting to, to uh, have people come and work on their places. Um, or it's just because they, Dad don't know anyone around here. And um, I can't seem to get a bite on anybody. Keep praying about it. So I know that uh, putting this this prayer request out there for uh, my dad and I would be such a blessing, and Opie as well, uh, that we will get some work going and and we can work every day, um, strong, hard, and heavy. In the name of Yahushua Jesus, um, pray for my dad's thoughts, his uh, his memory. Um, his name is David. Pray for pray for his memory uh, since the accident that he had. He's had, he has a lot of memory problems, but not to the extent uh, that you would think. His business is a different story. He forgets all kinds of other stuff, but not a, not the business, which is which is one of the reasons why I know that his business is supposed to, to last. Um, it's not going to go down the hole, because uh, that's one of the one things that, that was not taken away from him, the memory of his business. Um, yes. Pray that we will get work. Um, pray that we will get workers. Uh, pray that people won't do us wrong. The last couple, they did us wrong. Um, but praise Yahushua. We love him so much for blessing us with um, just a better understanding of uh, people. And not to be so judgmental, you know, through the whole situation. Because everything's learning. Everything's a learning lesson. Everything. If we take it that way, what is meant for evil will be turned to good. Our Father says, if we just have faith, Hallelujah. We all bless and name you, Husha. Thanks so much for listening. I'm on